For example 1.5, we're focusing on the concept of solving a system of equations. So before we had an equation, such as the top one, y equals 3x minus 2. And we want to look for the x and the y's that solve this. And it, in a sense, any point along that line, any xy point along that line, line, will solve that equation. Well, now we want to look for two equations. We want to find the x and the y such that y equals 3x minus 2 and y equals minus 5x plus 25. To do this, we're going to set up a system of equations. So equation 1, if you recall, was 3x minus 2. So here our m is 3 and our b is minus 2. Equation 2 is our m is minus 5 and our b is 25. And so now I can come down here to x and I'm going to go 0 to 10. And y1 is equal to, now again, so remember y1 is 3x minus 2. I'm going to base it off of this right here. So this is my 3, and I want to anchor that times x plus b. Now I do plus even though it's negative 2 because the negative minus 2 will show up in the b term and not in this term. So I click enter. Now my y2 is equal to negative 5x plus 25. So it's equal to mx plus b. m, anchor that, times x plus b. Okay, now that I've done that, double click. Well, bad news happened right there. Oh, and that's because I did not anchor that right there. So I need to anchor my b. So it turns out that it, if you see a mistake, you just got to be able to go through and solve it. So by anchoring that, and now I can double click. And there we go. And that looks a lot nicer. All right, so I'm going to graph these two to show exactly what the system of equations means. I'm going to insert these. All right, I'm going to select my data so I see what it means, or just get the accurate values. So here's what the graph looks like. So this red line, if I click, is y2. The blue line is y1. I want to look for the x and y such that both of these systems of equations are satisfied. So therefore, that's going to be right here in the middle where they both cross. So where does x1 equal x2? Well, that should look, if you look here, is you want these numbers to equal each other. So it looks like it's somewhere between 3 and 4. All right? So we can look to see a way to be able to solve that on our own. All right? And the way we're going to solve that on our own is by using a program called Solver. All right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up now an equation. Or I'm going to call this y1 and this y2. Okay. And I'm also going to set up a column that I call x. So I'm going to highlight these to kind of help me keep my mind straight as to what they are. So y1, so we did this over here to be able to show the graph. But what y1 is equal to is 3mx plus b. So it's 3 times this x now plus b. Now I don't have to anchor these because I'm not going to copy and paste. And I push enter. I set up my y which is equal to m times this x right here in the yellow plus b. Okay, and now what I got that is anytime I put an x in here, so let's put in 1, you'll see it'll match. So if x is 1, y1 is 1, and y2 is 20, which is exactly what I have. If I put in 4, I'll get 10 and 5, which is exactly what I have right here. It's just a little bit different way of doing it. Well, now, if y1 equals y2, then it's also the case that y1 minus y2 is equal to 0. And so now this next term I have, I'm going to call, call, I'm going to call it y1 minus y2. Because if this is 0, then that'll 
be the point at which they equal each other right here. Now, we need to look for solver. So if you go to File, go to Options, and go to your add-ins, what you'll see is the solver add-in. You want to highlight that and then click Go. You want to make sure that solver is checked and click OK. So solver is a package that solves systems of equations in Excel. So now if I go to data, over here on the far right side, I'll see this button solver. So I'm going to click that button. Now solver has four important parts. First, it has your objective. You have to define what your objective is to maximize it, to minimize it, to set it to a specific value. And then you have to designate which variables are changing or what is your independent variable. Next, we can add constraints. So our objective is we want to set our objective such that y1 minus y2 is equal to 0, which if we add y2 to both sides would be y1 equals y2. So I said my objective is h5 to set it to a value of 0 by changing my quantity. I don't have any constraints, so I'm going to click Solve. Oops, so before I do that, I do need to set what this is. So y1 is equal, y1 minus y2 is equal to y1 minus y2. So now that I have that formula, okay, now we're good. Let's go back to Solver. My objective is h5, which is y1 minus y2. I want to set that equal to zero by changing e5, which is my x. I then click Solve and click OK. And when x is 3.375, y1 is 8125, y2 is 8125. So they equal each other, therefore the difference between them is zero. And that is the introduction to how to use Solver.